Yeah, man! Fried plantain. Ripened plantain. Easy, effective way to fry. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the way. Subscribe, like, share. Fried is fried. Ripe plantain yourself and give us feedback. So I'm going to show you how we eat fried plantain. Fried ripe plantain. So this is a raisin bread. You can use sliced bread. It's as simple as just taking the fried plantain and put it between two slices of bread. You can add butter. When I was a child, I used to put butter on both sides of the bread of the plantain and then eat it same way. It used to be a delicious snack for dinner. So this is my fried egg that I messed up. So I just turned it in fried scrambled egg. Alright, remember I was saying you can add butter. I already sprinkled salt. It was fried. And some people sprinkle salt on the fried plantain. You can do that. Just put a little bit. I don't. This is what my sandwich looks like. This is an egg fried plantain sandwich. Hello, my name is Miguel. Today I'm gonna make for you fried plantain. Easy, effective way to fry. But before we prep, we're gonna deep fry it. So get a saucepan, a big enough saucepan, a medium sized saucepan. Add about a cup, cup and a half of cooking oil. I use coconut oil. Put the stove gauge on four, medium low. And just add the oil and allow the oil to get hot. This is a plantain. It's like a banana, but it's bigger. It's like three times the size of a banana. It's a ripe plantain. I can't believe I'm doing a second fried ripe plantain. I still didn't show you how we fried green plantain. All right, so you do as you see me doing and cut long side the skin about a couple inches in. You just cut it long side. You can peel it like a banana if you want. You don't have to be fancy like me. And cut the plantain in half and then cut I want to say chips, but um, slices. Cut some slices, like ripe plantain slices. All right, and do as you see me doing and slice the tomato. You can slice it on a flat chopping board or you can put it in your hand. Put the round part to your palm and then slice it. One sixteenth of an inch or one eighth of an inch thickness. When you add the oil, make sure it's quarter way up in the saucepan. Don't put it halfway up because when you add the plantain, it can overflow and might cause fire. Make sure it's quarter way up the sauce. And when you pour the oil, pour it at the edge of the saucepan. Don't pour it in the middle because it will splash up and it can burn your hands. In three minutes since we've been waiting. So a way to test it is just hold a piece of the fried plantain and then if you see it sizzles, starts to sizzle, that means the oil is hot enough. So just add them piece by piece. Just add your sliced fried plantain piece by piece or one by one. You just use a fork and kind of make sure that they kind of separate and just allow. So those gauges on four, medium low. After a minute, just kind of use the fork and kind of, you know, make sure that they're not sticking. But don't flip it yet enough. So those gauges on four, medium low. Allow. After three, between four minutes, just look at the ones that you put in first. And this is what it should look like. I have a nice golden color. And just go through patiently, but not too patient, and just flip your plantains on the other side. Some of them gonna still wanna stay on the other side but it just kinda goes through. If it still stays on the other side it's okay but the ones that's frying just make sure you flip those over because it's still it's still cooking in the deep fried oil. So once you do that allow those gauges on four. After five between six minutes this is what it looks like. They should be ready. Get a plate or sauce plate put aside. If you're against oil, you can use a paper towel and put it on a plate so that when you put the fried plantains on it, it drains. But I'm not going to. Just do as you see me doing and then just go through. The ones that are finished, just take them out. When you take them out, use the fart and kind of hold it over the saucepan and drain the fried plantain before you put it in the plate. And when you put it in the plate, put it over its own surface. Don't overlap the plantains because they'll stick together. Planting can be eaten raw. Cooking it is just something that we do. We cook it mainly for our breakfast. We cook it for snack, we fry, we fry it for snack. We cook it in food, like boiled, hard food. 
I have made plantain tart. You can go see that if you want. It's a kind of pastry. It's very nice. Plantain tart is nice. My aunt used to make that. Big up Auntie Norma. This way of frying plantain is much more effective. It doesn't smoke up the room and it works. If you weren't about the oil, you can still put the fried plantain on a paper towel and drain the oil after frying. Fried plantain is kind of sweet, has about 15% sweetness compared to a fruit, compared to an apple. It's nearly the same sweetness compared to an apple. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's sweet. It's not that sweet, but it's, it's sweet. Later. Yeah, man!